1987 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 condition with full steps. According to PCGS, the 1987 P. Jefferson Nickel has a high mintage and is a very common issue for the series. Examples in circulated grades up to about MS-66 condition are very common. Only in MS-67 condition with 6 full steps are they scarce. Anything grading MS-68 or higher with FS features is very scarce to rare. This gem ended up selling for $1,800. Number 6. 1982p Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Out of more than 500 million Washington quarters struck at the Philadelphia Mint in 1982, only two coins, including the one shown here, has been awarded an MS-68 grade by PCGS. Radiant pearl gray surfaces are fully struck and effectively flawless with occasional powder blue and tan accents. It was sold for $4,241.75. Number 5. 1987 Silver Eagle. Graded in Mint State 70 by PCGS. Excellent gem in utmost numismatic grade. More than 11 million Silver Eagles were struck in business strike format in 1987. PCGS population of MS-70 gems is less than 400. This is an all-brilliant example that has swirling mint luster and the perfect surfaces one would expect. It ended up selling for $4,112.50. Number 4. 1983 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Reverse. Graded as MS-68 read by NGC. An impressive guide book variety with a wide spread on the reverse legends and on the horizontal lines of the memorial. Die polish lines on each side of the portrait suggest that mint personnel concentrated on the appearance of the wrong die. The peach gold surfaces are void of contact your carbon. It was sold for $4,600. Number 3. 1985 Lincoln sent in MS-68 plus red condition. This magnificent 1985 Lincoln sent is one of the 12 coins certified in this lofty graded PCGS, with just single finer. The design elements exhibit razor-sharp definition and the pristine original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. It was sold for $5,875. Number 2. 1980s Anthony Dollar struck on a 5-cent planchet. This lightly circulated error scent was graded as AU58 by NGC. Weighing 5.0 grams, consistent with the official weight of a Jefferson nickel planchet. Bright, satiny surfaces show no major abrasions and feature strong definition. The strike is off-center toward 8 o'clock, with the date in United States of America readable. Much of Liberty and $1 run off the flan. It was sold for $6,900. Number 1. 1983 Lincoln sent in MS-62 red and brown condition. What makes it so sought after by collectors is that it is a transitional alloy mint error, reminiscent of the famous 1943 copper scent. Though the zinc-plated steel scent was introduced in 1982, a small number of copper scent planchets found their way between 1983 dyes. Perhaps the planchet lodged in a crevice of a mint bin and was freed some time later. An orange-red and apple-green example that has a good strike and minor obverse abrasions. It fetched a sum of $23,500. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.